What's up, everyone? Bright, bright guy here. Um, what is would? What's the title of the video? Would George St. Pierre? Will George St. Pierre retire? Um, I don't think he will. I think he's got at least one more fight in him. Um, what I think is going to happen is I know there there are um, there are there's the possibility of Connor and GSP fighting. There's the possibility of Woodley and GSP fighting. Um, he's even. You know, GSP and Silva talks. Uh, I think what's going to happen is GSP is going to fight Whitaker. If you look at the division and if you're going just by size wise, you got Rockhold, you got Yoel, you got Weidman, you got Jacare. Just those four guys alone are massive human beings. Obviously, skilled fighters, but you got, I know skill beats size, but when you got skill and size, that's a tough combination. I look at those four guys and I see four losses on George St. Pierre's record. I just I don't see him beating either of those guys, any of those guys. Um, so what I, what I think is going to happen is he'll fight Whitaker for the middleweight title, win or lose, he'll fight Whitaker. And if he wins, I see a setup with him and Connor for the lightweight title, or him and Woodley for the welterweight title. That's what I think is going to happen. Um, I think say I think George St. Pierre. Fights Whitaker, loses, he fights Woodley or fights for the welterweight title and then retires. Or he beats Whitaker, keeps the middleweight belt, obviously, and fights Woodley champion versus champion or fights Carter champion versus champion. That's what I think will happen. Um, I just don't think he's got too many more years left in this sport. Uh, he's already taken enough damage in the sport prior to the Bisping fight, another four years off. Um, Probably helped his brain heal if that's I don't know, I don't know if the brain heals if the brain works that way but I think George will continue the fight but I think a retirement is within the next two years um, and he might not even fight Whitaker he might just fight Woodley he might just fight I don't think he'll fight Connor but um, not anytime soon at least but it's either Whitaker or welterweight title that's uh, George St. Pierre's next fight. Um, I just, like I said, I don't think he's in the sport that much longer. I know he's he's the big star right now. Him and Connor are the two guys right now. Um, <clears throat> killing it. I don't know why I keep clearing my throat. But, yeah, that's what I think will happen with George St. Pierre. Because um, I think Whitaker, not saying Whitaker is an easy fight, but I think Whitaker is the easiest fight for George in that, that, at that, um, that division because Whitaker used to be a welterweight. Whit Whitaker is a bit of a smaller guy. Uh, I'm not saying that he is small. He's just smaller than you know a Rockhold. Um, so I think George. I think George knows that. Uh, George is a fighter. He will give it his go. But I think he knows that. Yeah, there are some monsters in this middleweight division, and the Bisbing Whitaker fights are a bit easier than a Weidman Rockhold Yoel fights. Um, so I think he stays. Within two years, a couple fights, a couple big money fights, and then hangs his hat up for good. Um, it's good to see him back, my idol. Um, glad he got that title That title against Bisping. That was fun. So, <clears throat> the UFC is in a good spot right now, coming into 2018 with Connor and GSP hanging around. Um, there's a lot of fun fights in that welterweight division right now. Mark my words, that welterweight division, that's something special right now. So, look forward to 2018 with all these these fun fights to make, um, let's make it happen, I guess, I don't know, George St. Pierre will not retire anytime soon, within the next two years, a um, couple more fights, a couple big money fights, a couple super fights, yeah, 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 and uh, hangs him up, I'm a bright, bright guy, thank you for watching.